Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe button down below. Could give this video a big thumbs up. To start it off, that does help me out a lot and I really do appreciate that. But let's get straight into today's video. It is pickups for fall of 2020, kind of end of September, beginning of October. Things I've picked up recently. I've got a lot of things for fall so far and a lot of it is going to be in my fall lookbook that's coming up soon. I'm trying to get that out quickly for you guys before fall is like over, but... Those lookbooks take a lot more time. So that is coming. You'll see a lot of these pieces, but you'll also see a lot of pieces that are newer that you haven't seen that aren't in this that I picked up beginning of September that I'm keeping for the video. But these are just some things that I picked up to show you guys um, some essentials for fall of 2020, like top 10 essentials. It is now hoodie season, so a lot of these are hoodies, crew necks, whatever you prefer. Some pants, because it's really hard for me to find pants that I like personally on me. So I have a lot that I'll be talking about. But let's get straight into the video. Enough talking. We'll start it off with some camo joggers. They're kind of, they're not really cargo. They have like this big pocket right here. But there's none on the side. And they are kind of like a jogger, but not really. It's not like super thick. It's just kind of like a cinched bottom with gold zipper. But I really like these. They're, you know, obviously camo. And I don't own any camo pants, so I wanted to get these to switch it up because I usually don't wear a lot of camo pants. They're really in style, and I wanted to switch up, and I liked how these fit a lot, and that's big for me because it's hard for me to find pants that I really like, being that I am shorter. A lot of pants are too long. They don't fit properly, and these fit amazing. And they are actually from American Eagle, which, like, I'm sure many of you haven't shopped there since middle school or high school. Same, I don't really buy things from there, but I was at the mall, and I thought I'd try them on. And I did and I like them, which is why I also copped them in this desert camo color. I think these look really cool and I'm excited to style these in that lookbook because these will be one of the ones that are in it. Not all of these that I'm showing you are going to be in the lookbook, but these more than likely will because they are super fall and they fit really well. So I'll show you guys these because you can style these in so many different ways. So you know, don't always sleep on American Eagle because sometimes you might find something super cool like I did with those. They might not be your cup of tea but I like them they fit me well they're kind of baggier fit but then they come together nice at the bottom so they look good with sneakers which is what I like I don't like super loose bottom so yeah those super nice and very affordable they're buy one get one half off which is why I got, went ahead and got both colors this is just a basic Nike sportswear crew neck because you always need crew necks in the fall and yeah it's just has the Nike worded on it $45 at any like sports store you can go ahead and cop one of these yourself but you need a basic crew neck and then i also have this one which is from nike lab so you got the white nike tag and if you saw i did a review on top crew necks for the fall of 2020 that just went up a couple days ago when you guys are seeing this posted it today as i'm recording this but if you want to check that out i'll put it right here or link in the description if you want to check out me reviewing all types of different crew necks that are good for fall if you're looking for that uh, i also had that style of one in it as well to compare nike lab versus nike sportswear but i really like this one this one just says basic swoosh and obviously is a lot more expensive coming at 75 dollars and it's super thick but yeah if you want to hear a comparison on if this is actually worth 75 dollars i queued it up there go check that video out so those were two crew necks we'll get back to the next one i'm gonna switch it up to hoodies real quick i don't know if i've shown this one in a video but i have not wore it yet i don't know when i got it. it was they had a summer sale at the very end of summer and this was part of their summer collection even though it is a hoodie so it was a perfect time to run and get this for discounted price from stussy as you can see there you have stussy globe logo right in the middle and that's really it everything else is blank and this type of hoodie fits so well it's kind of like boxy oversized but not superly oversized and the very nice quality of material and thickness this is a, such a nice hoodie so if you're thinking about getting a stussy hoodie i definitely recommend it it fits so well and it looks so good i absolutely love this one and i'll definitely definitely be rocking that one this fall season into winter we'll go with the last hoodie here it's the one in color here the purple which i got this simply because of the shade of color to the north face has the giant North Face on the back. Literally, I got a Dick Sporting Goods. I work there. Uh, which is also kind of why I bought it. Because I can wear it to work. Uh, so that's mainly the reason. And I loved the purple. The purple. That's why I wanted it. Because I love like that quart purple. This shade of purple. And lime green are my two favorite colors. 
and yeah it really stood out so i liked that it's got you know like i showed big graph on the back so if you guys wanted this one i'm gonna be leaking all this stuff in the description so if you want to shop it as well you can too i think it's 55 dollars nice quality it's very very soft like let's see super soft on the inside definitely worth it and these will look cool with my lebron 7 media days i think like just that shade of purple so that'll definitely be a cool relaxed cozy fit with some sweatpants i might put that in the lookbook i haven't decided but like i said turn your post notifications on because that lookbook will be coming out soon for you guys we'll do this one real quick just because i got it recently i don't want to go too much in detail but i just wanted to tease that i will be having a video about this shirt and some other items coming out soon it is actually a women's t-shirt it says fly right there and it has a women's basketball shoe here it has all the information about it super sick graphic very thin t-shirt though so i mean it's not really like fall vibes uh, very loose oversized and i even went up a size so it's very oversized but i like it and it was only 25 dollars and like i did state it is actually a women's t-shirt which is crucial to what it's about so yeah i just want to tease them a little bit because the video is coming out with this i wanted it with some bangers but real quick before we get to those I forgot i got these in american Eagle too they're literally just vintage washed skinny jeans but they're not like super skinny but they're they're pretty skinny they're exactly how i like it and i've never seen like this vintage wash and i really like it it's better than just plain black um to switch it up because i have a lot of plain black jeans and this will switch it up and i needed jeans without holes because like all mine have holes that's one thing like i hate ordering jeans from like minimal la distracted represent like any of these brands three wear brands because i it's just like 50 50 chance on if it's gonna look good or not and it's just a pain to ship it back but like mary knew i was able to just try these on real quick see if i liked it and go ahead and get out if i did if i didn't put them back so that's why i got from mary Kino. so sometimes convenience does beat the other pros but to end it off i actually forgot i had this one so i just put it up just now i've never wore it i still have the bag because it's actually for sale on my depop it is the chinatown market grateful dead collab this thing is super good quality perfect for fall perfect for winter it's got the grateful dead bears on it you know giant graphic there lebron was wearing the black t-shirt of it that kind of made it big and it says positive mental attitude chinatown market it's the bears it's kind of like wrinkly because it's been in the bag i know i took it out of the bag which technically undies but it's not because it's never been worn and yeah if you want it you can get it only because i like it yes and i probably will wear it if it doesn't sell but getting the money money for it honestly I would take even just what i paid for it just because sometimes i feel weird weird wearing it because i know grateful dead such big thing right now with streetwear like vintage shirts they did the, the collab with trying to tell market obviously and just people are making vintage grateful dead shirts but i don't listen to grateful dead to kind of feel weird wearing it i don't know anything about the band so i feel weird wearing it but it's very nice quality and you know it is streetwear so i will wear it if no one buys it but if you want this buy it for me i'm selling it for retail if you weren't able to get it because you can no longer get any more that does wrap all of the clothing up there's no shoes in this video the only shoes i've picked up this month because i'm trying to you know lay low on the shoes are the air max one limeades and if you don't know what those are or what they look like and want to hear see about it hear about it watch a video about it that's what i'm trying to get at i'll put it in the queue right here or description but probably right here to see my video and my review on those so i don't want to go into detail because i already did a whole video on those up now on my channel and like i said crew neck video is up on my channel so you can watch that and the lookbook is coming see these pieces and a lot of additional pieces that are super sick to see how i style them but we have two more items left non-clothing but i'll do this one real quick it is actually cologne it's eve saint laurent so you know a little bougie with the saint laurent but uh, i don't own any cologne perfume any of that and i wanted some because i usually just use like body spray that just smells like literally the ocean that's what it is ocean and this smelled very similar to that it's cologne blue or something like that i don't know this little thing right here was 60 dollars. most of the ones this size from like gucci dior or prada were all like 70 and it wasn't worth it but this one also was my favorite scent 
because it's not very masculine but it's not fe very feminine it's that perfect mix which i like like it just smells fresh and that's what i like like ocean fresh vibes that's all it really smells like so definitely if you're looking for something light and fresh and not super crazy expensive try this out because it's a pretty decent size for 60 bucks i got it at sephora that's what it's called sephora so yeah check that out i really like it, it smells nice fresh lastly is an item that i was gonna do a whole video on which i actually still might i think i'm going to i wanted to do an unboxing but i got excited so i took it out because i needed it the day it came in the mail i was using it so i wasn't able to actually do a full unboxing but i'll probably make a video on it more in depth because it is a, the first big supreme item i've purchased and first item from supreme i've actually got on the website the only other thing is a hat that i bought off someone so like i said it is supreme and yes uh i know supreme is like kind of like dead you know the resale value is gone type stuff and this is a pretty loud piece and i don't always need to be super hype beast out there with my supreme and a lot of people are i don't any supreme shirts boxers any of that but the bag does stand out and honestly i got it because it was still on the website after release in the red color that's how you know supreme's not the same type of hype but all throughout college i always wanted a red supreme backpack and I could never get one. I could never afford one. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it now that it's still sitting there. And I have the access to get it. And it was a little pricey. But I wanted to do a backpack anyway. Because I have a Herschel one. And it has scratches all over it from my cat. But anyway. This is Supreme from the new season. They had this color. Olive and cheetah print. If it's still available, I'll put it in the description. I think the red did sell out. But I think the other color is... Last I checked, we're still up, but probably not anymore. But yeah, I might do a full review on what's inside, what it looks like, if a Supreme backpack is really worth it, is the type of video I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned for that if you want to know more about this. But yeah, I just needed a backpack, and for college me, I went ahead and picked that one up. So that does wrap up all of my recent pickups. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss those videos coming up, fall lookbook and such. And I'll see you guys next time. Always remember, don't be afraid to be different. Bye.